The Terra Luna and Terra Luna Classic ecosystems continue to surge based on the information coming out about Duquan being released from custody. Guys, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack. Um, and you're still getting lied to. And you're getting lied to by your validators to the point that they're creating fake news articles. And I'm going to show it to you. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And let's kick this off. Okay, first of all, Terraform Lab civil trial getting ready to begin in New York today. The 25th is when it starts and Terraform be on trial, but Duquan will not be there. He'll be uh, in Montenegro waiting the extradition move, which is now going to South Korea instead of the United States. Now, the high minister of Montenegro is, of course, fighting this every step of the way. I don't know how much he's being paid by the U.S. government to try to manipulate the system, but it's clear at this point that that is what's happening. The rest of the government is wanting Duquan to go back to his home country, a move that, by the way, Duquan does not want to go anywhere but of the two, his attorneys have argued that South Korea is the appropriate place. So I'll keep you informed on that as I can. Also, um, KYC community votes to repeal KYC proposal when Luna Classic and USTC rally. Folks, you're being lied to. You're being lied to by somebody and they're not being truthful with you because that uh, repealed KYC proposal did not pass, is not passing. So, um, yeah. As you can see right here, it is not passing, it is not passing, and it is not passing. So, um, I would be very careful. There are so so many bad actors, so many CD individuals who are uh, validators on this blockchain that will just willingly lie to you. Be careful. Also, let's talk about why the price rose just recently, uh, and that's because 2.4.2 upgrade is coming in, and that's going to allow IBC hooks, and that's the key feature for onboarding dApps on Terra Luna Classic. Now, that, that's the big deal. This is where uh, Luna Classic is prepared now for upgrades. So we're going to have IBC hooks, which will allow dApps to be created, which will allow you to build on the network and through the blockchain. And once that's done, then you're going to be in a much better position and the, the entire community will be in a much better position because we'll be able to start creating things that will move people back to uh, Luna Classic, given them a platform. Additionally, and this is going to go along with it, although this is not really Luna Classic, but Luna is set to test $2 very, very soon. Now, along with that, that generally means that Luna Classic moves along with it. So I would expect to see something like that happen very, very soon. And that would probably put us in 4-0's 3 territory. Now, uh, you can see here that there's been no new discussions about uh, new proposals that might be showing up. So... Uh, what are we left to do? Check station. We've already checked station. We know exactly what's going on there. So let's get into price action and figure out. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. Now, what's going on? From the price action, you can see that we've had this nice big move. It's been a very aggressive move. Uh, there will be a downside and some consolidation off of these. But if you grant here that each one of these has been a kind of a parabolic move and a consolidation, a, a move and a consolidation, a move and a consolidation, it looks like we are uh, moving up in the right method for the last couple of days in order to create new highs in order to attack 
uh, into some new ranges. And as you can see, when you zoom out here, uh, you'll get kind of a, a sense of it. I'll put it on the day so that you can see it a little bit better. But as you kind of move out here, you'll find that the regions that we're in right now, these kind of make sense because these are the resistance areas with our next resistance area where we kind of topped out here the last time. It's a range, if you will, uh, in between here and there, all the way up to about 32 from down here to around, I want to say, uh, 22 to 32. So that seems to be the range of resistance that we have right now. And that's going to be when we're going to attract sellers who are wanting to sell off for profit. But I told you guys before that what I fully expect is a retest up here, 24, 25 range, and then probably a move back down to test this trend line to see if we're still uh, bullish in our upward momentum. And then a breakout beyond that line up above and retesting probably a little bit lower than this previous one. I uh, will probably kick it over a little bit, come back down a little bit to 23, and then boom, have a breakout there. And if that breakout happens and we get accepted into that range, then we're talking about a move to about 32. So it's going to be 100. Uh, it'll be a 2x from where we currently are. Uh, and you're not here for a 2x. You're here for a bigger move. But we don't have a bigger move. What we have is a 2x on tap. Once we get to 2x, then we'll talk about getting a 2x from that range, which will bring us to an all-time high. As you can see up here, we're sitting with an with a previous all time high at four zero three zeros. Sorry, fifty nine uh, two fifty. And the other one, I think I said four zeros earlier. It's three zeros. Um, so there's the range that I think that we're getting ready to break out to. I think that we're going to have this kind of parabolic move. Being able to build on this network is going to be a fantastic thing. Now, as far as volume goes, we're up eighty three percent on volume, seven percent on price action. 52%, 55% on USTC, 4% over there. Uh, USTC still moving along with uh, uh, Luna Classic. Not as aggressive. We're not seeing the the, the same level of ex excitement and enthusiasm. Again, I told you guys, you know, we ran through this range for so long that it's going to take a little while for this sell-off to continue. And, and by the way, when you come over here and look, you can see that, you know, we haven't removed that circulating supply from that 800 million burn yet. So, you know, there are pieces in place that, that will, will look really good that we'll start to see that'll start to kick off and there'll be an impetus for USTC. So if you're not holding a bag of USTC, you might want to consider it right around now. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes, you know, looking through here, there's not really any kind of big pressing news that's going on. Uh, but the burns uh, in the last seven days, 603 million Luna Classic have been burned. 104.99 billion have been burned so far. So uh, as we get used to this and I start sharing this with you, then you know this will give you an opportunity to see exactly what's going on. It's a, a significant amount of burn for the week, but it's only going to get better because we're getting to that point where both Binance and Weeks are going to be burning tokens. So if you haven't already, sign up for Weeks and let's start burning tokens. Um, and make sure if you're trading on Binance that you do that because we burn tokens not off of your you're not saying you're not you're not paying for that. They are paying for that. They're doing it for you as a reward to incentivize you to trade on the platform. So sign up for weeks today and start trading. Uh, I, I've done a couple hundred thousand dollars in volume so far. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for being involved in this. We want to keep that going. We want to keep pushing. Guys, if you want to be part of it, if you want to be part of the legend, then you sign up for weeks and let's do this. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.